Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos uh, with respect to uh, running functions uh, through R Studio, okay, and more importantly using the R Statistical Programming Language, uh, is going to concentrate on a single sample t-test uh, and the three variants of a single sample t-test. Uh, one where the alternative is greater than, uh, where the alternative hypothesis is less than, and and the, the other possibility where the alternative hypothesis is uh, the two-sided variant where it's not equal to, if that makes sense. Okay? Uh, but what we're going to rely upon here is we're going to rely upon, I suppose, a data set uh, that's, that's used quite frequently in the Lander textbook, which is his textbook, uh, which is or for everyone, uh, Advanced Analytics and Graphics. And the data set that we're going to rely upon is a data set that deals with, uh, I suppose, the amount of tips uh, that waitresses receive uh, and the, the the types of whether the, whether the waitress was male or whether it was female uh, the the cost of the meal at that particular moment in time the amount of tips that they received whether they're male and female uh, and whether it was at dinner time or in the afternoon with respect to when they received the tip uh, so the data set is called tips uh, and that day it's set is found in the reshape 2 package okay so I think I've already actually installed that but I'm just going to try to install it again so I'm just going to say install uh, install packages okay and the packages I want to install is reshape reshape 2 and uh, I might get an error here because I've, I think I've actually already installed this particular package so I'm going to try to uh, install reshape 2 I'm going to hit return and you can see, well, I think that's doing a bit of processing there. So that's a down, download and downloaded the binaries and so on. Uh, so actually that package is, is installed now for me. Uh, the data set that we're going to be using is the tips data set. So I should have access that, to that now. So I'm actually going to say head, head tips just to see actually what the first couple of uh, rows in this particular in this particular data set looks like. So I'm going to say head tips and well, I'm getting an error here. Maybe I need to require, require okay I require reshape reshape 2 okay uh, so I'm gonna just require it's loaded now so now I should have access to tips so I'm gonna say head tips and that should give me access to the tips data set that comes uh, packaged in the reshape 2 uh, package okay so let me just run through this once again uh, the data set that we're using is called tips okay uh, or the data frame is called tips uh, I've installed it it's, it's located in the reshape 2 package I've installed it using the command install package install dot packages and the name of the package which is reshape 2 uh, I've then required it in other words I've loaded in that particular package using the require function okay so I've done require reshape 2 and you can see actually the message that we get is uh, it's loading the required package uh, which is reshape 2 and then I just ask for heads of tips that's the package we're going to be using and you actually see the output that we get here okay uh, the first column uh, it represents the total bill uh, for a particular for a particular for a particular meal okay so for example this first row here uh, represents that the bill uh, in this particular restaurant uh, for this particular customer it was sixteen ninety nine, sixteen dollars and ninety nine cent, or sixteen euros and ninety nine cent, whichever way you want to think about this. The tip that was left was one dollar and one cent, or one euro and one cent. Uh, the sex of the of the waitress was female. Uh, were the smokers? They weren't smokers. In this case, that's the, this particular waitress was not a smoker. The day of the week was Sunday. Uh, the time was at dinner time. Uh, and then we have, I suppose we have size here. I think this is the size of the party. How many people uh, were at that particular table uh, that this bill was associated with? There was two people with respect to that. Okay. But the question we'd like to, I'd like to ascertain is a question like this, yeah? With respect to the total bill, okay? With respect to the average of the total bills, yeah, okay? Uh, is there evidence to suggest that the average is different to, let's say, $19, okay? So that's my hypothesis. My null hypothesis is that the average is equal to $19. My alternative hypothesis is that the average is not equal to $19. I don't care whether there's evidence to suggest that the average is greater than $19 or whether the average is less than $19 either way I'll be happy if the evidence points in either one of those directions so in this situation this is what's known as a two-tailed test okay or uh, what we say within or is it's a two-sided test uh, 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to uh, I suppose call the t test function. Okay, so the t test function is called is called. Let me actually just hit some. Let me just actually control the control C on this so that we actually get back up to the top here. So the t test function is t dot test. Okay, actually maybe we hit help on that. So we hit help on the t dot test function. We should see the syntax of that function. Okay, and we can actually see that the syntax is listed is listed down here. Okay, and um, so I mean there's there's many ways to to use this. This is probably a little bit more more complicated here than than than, than what we see. Okay, uh, but now if we look at this syntax here, okay. Uh, the x represents, I suppose, x represents the data that we're feeding into this particular function. Okay, so x represents the data, and as you can see, x is a non is a non-empty numeric vector of data values. Okay, so we're, what we're going to be feeding in here is the total bills. Yeah, all the all of the, all of the values for the total bills is going to be fed in for the x. Yeah, and the y value is, I suppose, well, the y value we're not actually going to use in this particular case. It's going to be null. We're going to specify the alternative hypothesis to be two-sided. Okay. Okay. We could say less to suggest that the alternative hypothesis is less than, in which case the null hypothesis is greater than or equal to, uh, or we could suggest that the alternative hypothesis is greater, in which case the null hypothesis is less than or equal to. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to specify our hypothesized mean value. Uh, in this case, it says mu is equal to zero, but we're going to hypothesize that the mean value is equal to $19. Okay? So how do we run this? So I'm going to say t.test. Oh, let me go back into the console window here. I'm going to say t.test. Okay? Open round brace, close round brace. I'm going to specify the data set that I'm interested in. So it's tips. And actually, I'm interested in the total the total bill data within, within the tips frame. Okay? Oops, let me respell that there. So it's it's total bill, okay? uh, followed by a comma. Then we specify the alternative hypothesis. So in this case, alternative, okay? Alternative is equal to, and what we're going to specify is that it is two dot sided, okay? You can actually see from a syntax.